with uh, Marriott Hartley. We were just talking about treasured moments that we uh, moments. On, 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 on talk shows. Yes. Huh? Yeah. I think my very probably all-time favorite one was they gave me four policemen's wives and Perfect. told me exactly what their names were two seconds before I was supposed to. Now, I'm slightly ADD anyway, so if people mm. give me rushes of information, I'll remember them anyway. And uh, this was Phyllis and her husband had been killed at action. And this was, uh, you know, Jennifer and her husband was very much alive. Their marriage was good. And this was uh, Claudia and her husband was a paraplegic. And this, I mean, this is a devastating story, right? And this is uh, Nancy and uh, her husband uh, has no arm. So I started by saying, now, Phyllis, you and your husband have a good relationship. How's it? No, my husband died in the line of duty. I'm like, oh, my God, there's no way that. And Claudia, now, your husband's arm was, was, was blown off. And the, no, no, my husband and I have a very good relationship since last time. I was finished. There was no way you could yeah. pick me up off the yeah. floor. I, and I, it's a terrible story, yeah, but those yeah. things. People... I'll, I'll tell you the one I told you in the break, but I won't imitate the guy, okay? okay? okay. They gave me a, a fellow named Etoc, who was an Eskimo. <laughs> and they were we're talking of this was back in the 70s everybody had to have power women had to have power blacks had to have power Eskimo power okay but she, yeah. so the notes come to the hotel the night before and I'm reading the notes and at the bottom it says the man has a very slight speech impediment you'll never even even detect it I couldn't understand what the guy was saying his speech was so terrible and garbled because the man was you know he had an impediment he had, Barbara Walters is over there laughing her butt off and I said We'll be right back with more from Etoc and Barbara Walters <laughs> after this break and made her come out and finish it. Oh, man. It's awful. Oh. I mean, people have no concept of the kind of pressure you're under, and millions of people are watching you make one mistake after the other mistake. I was, I was so grateful that people would write me and just say, you know, no matter what you're doing, Miss Hartley, stay with it because we really love all the mistakes you make. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. really identify with We enjoy, enjoy watching the train wreck. Dumb human <laughs> 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 Every morning, it's you, know, true. Well, you know, it's great because there oh. are some things that are on television, oh. and some nights this program is one of them that are so bad you <laughs> have to watch. It. You know, the Hollywood Christmas Parade here in Los Angeles oh, is so it's bad. bad anyway. Oh, with 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 Lisa Gibbons, who I love oh, dearly, yes. and Bob Eubanks, who's yes. a buffoon. Okay, <laughs> it is it is so bad you must watch people wreck themselves. I know. It's unbelievable. Train it's so bad. Train wrecks have always been. Fun. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. <laughs> So any uh, summer vacation this year? I mean, you're very busy now with the new sitcom and with the show with no, the... No, uh... I, I, I didn't take one. I, my last one did it. Did really? Me in. Yes, yeah. it did me in. It was actually probably the last vacation our family ever took as a family. My, my, <laughs> my ex-husband, ex, because of this family vacation, mm -hmm. um, actually is a kind of man who is very, very European and very controlled. Mm -hmm. And he really was the kind of man, I don't know, many men can identify with this across America, I'm sure. He does not we have, have to- We have one minute left, it's oh, all Oh, he does not have to pee or eat all the way from Connecticut to California. Of course right? not. I mean, just, uh, so we decided to take a Winnebago so we could pee and eat and he could drive. The worst part of the, of the trip was when my mother-in-law, who happens to be French and doesn't speak a word of English, about 20 miles out of Mount St. Helens, so the powder was still going, my kids woke me up and said, uh, Grandmother isn't in the Winnebago. And I said, Where is she? And I said, Mama, it's que tu es là, it's que tu es là. No, no, no. It's que tu... Anyway, 50 miles down the road from the Arco station, we realized that we've left my mother in law at the Arco station. And, and that was, that was, that was the vacation. beginning of the yeah. end. Yes. Much success with your new Thank sitcom God. here at CBS. And, uh, and, and... Où es tu, Patrick? <laughs> Marriott, we want family. Go ahead. Uh, Marriott Hartley <laughs> appears into Have and to Hold starting in September on CBS and appears on stage in The Lion in Winter at the La Mirada Theater starting in November. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, honey. We will continue so after here. this short break. Tomorrow night, Rosie O'Donnell from the very popular Rosie Show, which appears across the country, our old friend Judge Mills Lane, and a special guest appearance by my friend Bob Eubanks. <laughs> I went a little over the top there. I, you know, I take it back. You know, he just, you know. But if, maybe I'll get tape if I can before I leave of the, of the Hollywood Christmas uh, parade, and you'll know exactly what I mean. I mean, it's just unbelievable. You know. As I demonstrate nightly, anything is possible if you don't know what you're talking about. Back tomorrow night, same time, same station. Thanks for watching, and good night, everybody.